Hi there Aries, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am going to be doing your reading now for August 21st through the 27th. I wasn't going to do weekly readings, this is intended to be a love reading by the way, but um, due to the requests I've decided to do them when I can. When I have the time to do them, I will do them. And this is for Aries, the 21st through the 27th, I wasn't sure who to do next. And you just kept hollering to me, it's Aries, 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 and I kept trying to put it off, no kidding. But um, I tried to think, no, it's not Aries, but no, it is, it is. So it's for you. This reading is for Aries, the 21st through the 27th. This is intended to be a love reading. So we will see what comes up. Ooh. Contemplation. So it looks like you're probably going within this week. It looks like at least at the beginning of the week, perhaps you have something on your mind that you are thinking about. Alright, so I'm back. I had to push pause because my dog was after the mail lady and she's a pit bull, so you know I had to stop. I had left the door open, my mistake. Anyhow, here we have um, that you are in a time of contemplation, and I think it's because of some kind of anguish in your heart has just has made you contemplate and okay so here we have the justice this is also a libra so maybe there's something that has been hurting you it could be concerning a libra but it could be also concerning you perhaps you weren't following your own path okay because this is doing the right thing for you and i think that now you are doing the right thing for you or you're going to do the right thing for you this is the 21st through the 27th this is about making a final decision in regards to your truth, okay? And it's doing the right thing for you. And I think part the reason that you're going to do the right thing for you is because something major is going to happen. Something big is going to happen that is going to cause you to do the right thing, to do the right thing, okay? That's all there is to it. And that whatever this is that happens, it's a major life experience. It's something that doesn't happen every day. Okay, and it may seem a little shocking, but it's really a blessing because it opens your eyes to the truth. Okay, it opens your eyes to the truth. Um, here I see that, you know, at first you might have some conflicts over it. You might have some conflicts. We'll see if it involves, if those are your conflicts or if they're with somebody else. Could be inner conflicts, but let's see what comes up. This is supposed to be a quickie. I just did one and it didn't end up being a quickie. So I'm going to try to make this a quickie. Um, hence the dog, you know, maybe it won't be a quickie, but, um, this is for Aries. It, all right. So it looks like, yeah, I, it looks like maybe somebody has been blocking you from seeing the truth. Maybe you have been lied to. Okay, but the truth is going to come out. All right, somebody has been blocking you, but the truth is going to come out over something. Perhaps, you know, um, you're going to regain control of a situation. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but you're going to regain control because you're going to take action. There's going to be some kind of victory. Um, it looks like... Um, It's about where you focus your energy, and this victory has to do with um, some kind of illusion, all right? It has to do with some kind of an illusion. It was an illusion, but you are going to receive the truth, because if these were the perfect, this would be right underneath it. The truth over something, you are definitely going to receive the truth. There's going to be a new discovery, okay? There's gonna, there is. Something is about to come out. That's all there is to it. And it's gonna it's a really good thing. At first it might be like, Oh my god, what just happened? You know, and you might feel a little scared over it. You might feel like, you know, um things are out of balance, but the fact of the matter is is you are about you know, you need 
things are going to become more balanced because you're going to follow your truth, all right? Now, this is about love. This is supposed to be a love reading. Here we have conflicts. This is about moving away from conflicts. So it looks like you're moving away from conflicts, which is great, and the tower has a hand in that. This life experience that's going to come in has a hand in you letting, leaving conflicts behind, which is great. Um, this right here, we have contentment, probably after some imbalance and some overindulgence and perhaps some... Um, escapism perhaps you've been escaping the truth okay but the towers here to wake you up all right you're gonna have some kind of awakening that's gonna gonna give you the truth on something you're gonna get a new discovery and it has to do with some lies and deceit that has caused some heartbreak for you okay it doesn't have to be with a sexual partner it could be with a family member okay <clears throat> could be with a wife or husband whatever but it looks like um you're going to change your your um, path, okay? You're going to start to focus your energy in another way, okay? So that's what I see. I think that you're just, there's an evolvement, per se, where you start to evolve into something different. Um, and I think it's you taking back your control. I think it is. I think it's you taking back your power, putting yourself in the driver's seat after some lies and deceit. You see them? You know, you see that things have been out of whack, you know, and you decide to leave that shit behind, okay? And when you do, contentment comes back into your life, okay? And it looks here, this is healing. You have, this is healing too. It looks like you're going through some healing this week, okay? And and I think that, you know, you're still, this is, this is illusions over possessions. This is where you choose love over possessions so because you can't have both so this right here is you your wishes being fulfilled this is the star this is your wishes being fulfilled at, at home with your partner or whatnot because you're leaving something behind i'm not sure what it is but you're leaving something behind but here maybe you're deciding to choose love over possessions love over money because that's what this card is. This is you choosing love over possessions. Okay? Because something was an illusion. And I'm not exactly sure what it was. But I see that you're starting to change your your thought. But maybe you're starting to choose love more than materialistic things. I'm not sure. Um, here we have a Cancer. Here we have a Taurus. Um, this is... Uh, this is... Uh, this is an ace. No, it's not. I always think it is, though. Son of Wands. So this is um, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. So this is you right in the middle of the reading. And this is your new discovery. And this is your choice, love or money. No kidding. So this is your new discovery. Perhaps you're deciding to act more loving. And this has to do with the eclipse. Perhaps you're starting to wake up. Okay, and you're starting to choose love over any other disagreements, okay? You're starting to really get get rid of conflicts. If it's with another person, you're letting them go, okay? This is a Sagittarius. Um, this is an Aquarius. But it looks like you're having a new discovery, and it's, and it's very healing, okay? And I think that you've done some healing. So I, I do. That's what I think it is. You've done some healing some from some past lies and deceit. That has caused you a lot of hurt. There's no doubt about it. I don't know why I'm still shuffling these. I'm going to use my other deck. As far as new love coming comes in, I don't see any new love coming in. You might be with somebody already, but I think that you're working on yourself. I think that you're healing. You're, you're taking time to contemplate. You're working on your spiritual path. I think that um, some kind of truth is going to come out, and it's going to come out as a life experience of some sort. That is going to start to bring your life more in balance and you might consider love more than possessions because that's what this card is and that's that's the truth of the situation perhaps you do the right thing on something um and it brings balance back to a relationship whatever this right thing is you bring balance back to a relationship with somebody all right this is my after tarot. It's afterthoughts. That's what it's supposed to be. I read the cards my way. I don't follow the book. I didn't read the book when it came in. It says, I don't even know what it says. 
so that's the way it is I give the meanings to the cards based on what I feel and what I know and that's the, I use the cards but I use my intuition with the cards I don't follow anybody this is things finally coming things are finally happen happening you can finally see things happening things are finally changing for you okay moving in the right direction there is forward movement okay and it's away from any lies and deceit that you have gone through and this is recognition okay this is feeling proud this is feeling um, very giving so I think that you are definitely going to be giving you are and I think that's the right thing to do perhaps you're going to be giving more attention giving more love giving forgiveness um, that's what I see yeah see this is the same card that's what it's supposed to look like it's the same card this one right here these cups used to be filled with possessions he's leaving the love and choosing the goods you know what I mean this is the same card it's the seven of cups and that's what I was trying to explain to you he's choosing the goods no no see this is you leaving that mental thought behind that's what this is leaving it behind leaving that and that's that's that those that's a conflict for you it is it's a real conflict for you to choose love over the goods okay the fact of the matter is this right here it's been challenging the other way okay it hasn't worked out the other way um, there's an opportunity for growth and I think that you've been growing okay now this opportunity of growth comes your way in disguise of a problem or a dilemma. But it's not really a problem or a dilemma because it it gives you a um, awakening regarding love or possessions. It does. It's just the way it is. <laughs> and like I said, this isn't, I, mean, I don't know if I told you this or not, but I was thinking it. This isn't a week really about love, but it is. You know what I mean? It is. Because you're focusing, you're changing, you're evolving. Here he's dumping out the cup. You know, he's dumping it out. He's actually got it in his hand, though. He's acknowledged love. He's and Maybe he's sharing love. Okay? He's sharing up here and he's sharing right here. So perhaps you're going to be more loving towards somebody. That's forward movement. Okay? And now you're starting to see. They see this is the after tarot. In the other deck, he doesn't see that there's love. Now you've turned around and you see that there's still love. There's still love to be given. There's still love to be had. All right. That's what healing is. All right. This right here is, this is the seven of swords. Again, this is the same card. All right. Lies and deceit. Okay, it's lies, it's, it's, it's very much, perhaps it's betrayal because it's right next to this. Perhaps you may have um, people feel betrayed by your choice of the possessions. Perhaps, perhaps, but you start to realize Okay, and it's it is a dilemma. It's a dilemma for you. Okay, now you guys might not like me for this, but I'm reading the cards. All right, it's a dilemma for you. That's both cards. It's a dilemma. It's a challenge, but it's really not because this is an awakening. All right, this is awakening. This is a big evolvement for you. I think that you are evolving from materialism to love. Okay, I hope. I think. Okay, and that's what it is. Again. Again, this is the Knight of Cups. This is love. This guy is all about love. And perhaps, you know, and there he is. He's sharing the love. And I think that that's what you're doing. You're starting to act in a more loving way towards somebody that you didn't even consider before. That you didn't think you loved or th that you didn't give the attention to. This is about battling, 
Okay, this is about your inner battle. Back and forth, back and forth. Okay, now, before it used to be just her and she was ignoring the situation. Now she's given the swords away and she's like, you guys fight it out. You guys fight it. I'm not going to do it anymore. I'll, I will, I'll sit here and watch, but I'm not going to fight anymore. Okay, so she's just decided, you know, she doesn't want the swords. She doesn't want to pretend. She wants, you know, whatever, the reality. So it looks like, you know, there's no more pretending. It seems there's some kind of truth that is going to come out that is going to act you make you act in a more loving manner. This right here, this is burdens. This is letting go of burdens. Perhaps you have been pretending that there aren't any burdens. Perhaps you've been pretending that this isn't heavy for you. Perhaps you've been pretending, you know, that this isn't really a problem. That everything is fine. But the fact of the matter is, is it's too heavy to carry. It's too heavy to carry. And perhaps you're going to let it go and you're going to turn towards love towards somebody. I think it's a family member. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Could be an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Aquarius here a couple times. We have Taurus. We have Cancer. Um, either way, I see that this is a week of evolving, changing your thoughts, moving into a more situation of choosing love over possessions or love over, 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 it is possessions because we have this card twice and that's what that's, this is. So I can't, I can't change it up. And it's, you know, maybe you have past hurts with somebody over money, okay? Over who pays for what or whatever, you know? Because that's what, that you get possessions from money, okay? And you want those possessions. So maybe, you know, there's some angst between you and another over that, okay? And you just decide to let it go. Maybe you just decide to let it go. I don't know. It releases a lot of tension and conflict if you do. So that's what I have. That's what I see. I don't see, you know, a new love coming in. But I see that you are going to, you've been contemplating and you have been working on your spiritual path. And I think that now... Um, the truth is going to come out about something which is going to make you act in a loving way towards somebody that you haven't been acting with in the past. That's what I see. Um, yeah, that's what I have. So I will talk to you soon.